Let's talk about this now uh, with uh, Ken Hines. He's a, a campaigner on knife crime and stop and search, and he joins us now. Uh, good afternoon to you, Ken. Yes, Julia, thank you. Um, really, I'd just like to say, I want to say my deepest condolence to the parents, family and friends that's affected by this horrendous act. Yes. Uh, it's really, it, words, I just don't even have the words. Be because that's it goes, Julia, just last week, because I also do dancing, that's another thing I do with, with the youngsters in school. So I was in a primary school, teaching them, taking them through a soca dance aerobics. And the kids were age 7 to 11. Oh. And to see the, the enthusiasm and how much they enjoy the session, I can I just can imagine how yeah. uh, and Tyler Swift, how they're going for that and they're feeling so proud to be part of that. How they would have felt before that evil descended on that on that, on that yeah, space. Yeah, I mean, again, my daughter, I can remember, you know, so many years, the primary school years, you know, sitting in the car, it's always Taylor Swift. So if I said to her, holiday camp, Taylor Swift dancing, I mean, she would have just been in heaven. These happy little girls having a wonderful time, the parents coming to pick them up, and then basically finding themselves at the centre of a horror movie, because that's what that would have been, the scenes that, that we, we've had described. But the Home Secretary, Yvette Cooper, um, she's been there, she's laid flowers, she paid tribute to the great bravery of the emergency services, also must pay tribute to the great bravery of members of the public, and indeed the dance teachers themselves. One of them, she's been named and, picked, and got a picture of her, Leanne Lucas, 35-year-old woman, who looks just like, I mean, the loveliest woman in the world. Um, and she is one of those who's critically injured, fighting for her life in hospital. Uh, she, uh, as, as with, with an other dance teacher and of course other members of the public who ran in a local businessman who, who worked nearby running in hearing the screams try to stop uh, the, this knife attack look you you will have spoken to so many people so many families over the years who've lost um, loved ones particularly children in in knife attacks um, in, does does the motive matter to those families? Because we had the police very quickly ruling out terror. They say they're still searching for a motive, interviewing a 17-year-old suspect um, caught near the scene. Um, does does it matter whether it was terrorism or whether someone is 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 mentally ill or mad or bad or both? What, does it matter to the families? It, it doesn't matter whatever it is, Julia, because it doesn't bring back the child. And 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 it, at the bottom line, there's a there's an empty seat at that table, at your table. And every time you sit down, and every t and and uh, it, the flashbacks that you get, not just today and tomorrow, but yeah. for many years to come, and it, it, it just brings a cloud over, a, a descending cloud over. Um, these parents that are affected yeah. by such tragedies. Well, we, and, we were saying and, and, earlier, and me, it's every, said, every parent's worst nightmare, but this is literally, well, you know, we joke about that phrase, this is literally the worst thing that could happen to a parent losing a child. Absolutely. And under these circumstances, these ones here particularly will be so hard to come to terms with. Yeah. The simple fact is, is that what could I have done different to maybe not have my child been in that in that position? Yeah. And don't forget, it's also those that were in the space that come come out on scale, physical on scale, but mentally scarred, that yeah. will have some serious, serious emotional issues going on for quite some time to come. And, and we know the survivor's guilt is a get, very big issue, isn't it? That the, the children who survived but have seen their, their friends uh, killed or stabbed, and the parents, I mean, I can, you imagine being a parent running up to that scene and you're hearing what's happened, and you're going, oh my God, which kids, which kids have been killed, which kids have been stabbed? Not mine, thank God. And then realising you're saying that in front of a parent whose child has just been stabbed. You know, the guilt, the, 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 the hurt for the whole community is, is, is huge. Let, let's talk about some facts, though, um, in, in terms of have, have stabbings gone up? Have crimes like this gone up? We know about crimes of passion. We've had the Bushy, a, a coroner's case involving the, the Bushy murders and a, and a mother and her two daughters uh, and the, cause, the causes of their deaths uh, announced this morning. Uh, we've had, you know, the Nottingham killer, uh, you know, two young people just you know, finishing university and, and, a, and, a, and a father uh, losing their lives to, to a deranged man on the street at the early hours of the morning. You know, are, are, are these sort of stabbings, are they getting worse? You know, a report just came out last week that said, said that in the last 10 years, there have been 48,000 um, stabbings, a uh, knife offences that's gone on, with, particularly around young people. And so it's, it's an increase of stabbings that's going on. But as I said, we've got to differentiate because there's there's those that have got evil intent uh, that's got the physical harm that they want to harm other people. 
people and there's those that has um, mental illness uh, paranoia and things of that nature that's you know that does that don't have control of of their thought but what we do as a community is how we deal with that because yeah. uh, currently yeah. currently you know there's no the police are no longer coming to um, to deal with situation where you feel that someone's need to be sectioned or yeah. need to be some support. Uh, um, people who love ones are going off the rail, will feel concerned about bringing in any authority yeah. in some cases to deal with that. So we're in that quagmire to say, what do we do? Because quite clearly, you know, my, my thing is, because I can see what those teachers did, uh, they instructed, I would have done the same thing. I would have yeah. defended every one of yeah. those charges. Natural yeah. instinct. And the, and the businessman That's who it. ran in, you just a hero, ran in to try and protect because it's, you know, it's what, it's what you want to do. There does seem to me to be a feeling, though, when, you know, when the police say, we, we don't believe there's a terrorist motive, but they haven't even interviewed the man. Um, they're saying boy, 17-year-old. I mean, you know, I don't think most of us would say boy about a 17-year-old. But, 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 but also that whether we can rule these things out so quickly. Um, but whether we, that, that debate between mad and bad, so often it seems to me, and whether it's Nottingham killings, whether it's something like the Southport killings, there almost seems to be a, well, it wasn't terror, it was just someone who was mad. Oh, as if that's okay then, when the reality is, it, it, in most of the time, when something awful goes wrong, when it involves someone with mental illness, I mean, they're more like, we know most mentally ill people are, are, are not a danger to anyone, including themselves, but if they are a danger, it's to themselves more likely. But when someone who's mentally ill does actually go and kill other people, a schizophrenic or for whatever reason, actually, they've nearly always been flagged to the authorities parents of them their own family members have often said i'm very worried i believe something bad's going to happen please help us please please you know provide provide the treatment for my 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 child to, so they can be be safe and not be a dead risk to people uh, do you think that's what we're going to hear in this case well in this case here there's you know in, in all cases where there's a, there's a there's a death uh, um through murder there's a, there's a terror element to it it may yeah. not always been intended but yeah. that's the end uh, the end, end, end result now it's quite clearly the police will know very early whether the, the, the case there's got um mental mental illness that's in regards to this or people that were off off the scale they, they were they were no quite quickly what the intent is behind that but the fact of the matter is the person didn't get there today or overnight they got there over a period of time. Yeah. So surely there'd be people in the community that was close to this young man that would have seen how he deteriorated and maybe have heard some of the things that he that was saying that weren't making sense. But where do we go for support when we got those kind of concerns about someone that we feel very dear to? Yeah. yeah, 17 years old. Yes, he's, he's not, in, in the eyes of the law, he, he doesn't turn an adult till he's 18. But nonetheless, he's big enough to inflict this kind of horrendous in, injuries and, 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 and on, not only on the people he done physically, but on the community and the yeah. wider uh, um, country. Yeah. Yeah. That's all affected. We heard the, 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 the king, we've heard the prime minister, we've heard people from around the world and, and Tyler Swift herself. Uh, horrified by what's happened and yeah. rightfully so and i was saying with, with our guest claire earlier you know i think every single parent you know would have hugged their own children a little bit tighter last night and every parent dropping their kid off at a holiday club or nursery this morning would have just had that little moment you know the block in the throat of like well you know let's hope i see you when i come home later and and that and that is what parents have to go through isn't it ken hines so appreciate you joining us thank you very much indeed knife crime and stop and search campaigner